An example of the liquidity ratio is the interval measure ratio. The interval measure formula is current assets divided by average daily operating costs. Average daily operating costs are calculated as the costs of goods sold plus the operating expense divided by the number of days of the year, which is 365. So we can rewrite the interval measure formula as current assets divided by, open bracket, cost of goods sold plus operating expense, close bracket, divided by 365. Please note that the operating expense refers to the selling, general and administration expenses. We get the current assets from the balance sheet and the cost of goods sold and operating expense from the income statement. Please note that the income statement is a flow account, which means it is calculated over a year, while the balance sheet is a stock account, which is calculated at a certain day. Since we cannot compare a year to a day, we need to convert a day into a year by getting the average of the two balance sheet items, so we will use one income statement and two balance sheets. In summary, any time you find a financial ratio that includes an item from an income statement and an item from the balance sheet, you will use the income statement item and get the average of the two balance sheet items. So, we can rewrite the interval measure formula as average current assets divided by, open bracket, cost of goods sold, plus operating expense, close bracket, divided by 365. Now, let's calculate the interval measure for the year 2018. Let's look at the balance sheet for current assets. Please note 2018 is the first year of operations. Consequently, we do not have the average of the current assets as we do not have the previous year. We have current assets in the year 2018 of $40 million. So current assets are equal to $40 million divided by open bracket, cost of goods sold of $30 million plus selling general and administration expenses as operating expense of $2 million, close bracket, divided by 365. And this is equal to 456.25 days. As you can see, the unit of the interval measure is a day. This means that the company can meet average daily expenses with current assets for almost 456.25 days. The higher the interval measure ratio, the better. Next, Let's calculate the interval measure ratio for the year 2019. Let's look at the balance sheet for the average current assets in the year 2019 and 2018. We have current assets of $60 million in 2019 and current assets of $40 million in 2018. Open bracket. Current assets of $60 million in 2019 plus current assets of $40 million in 2018. Close bracket. Divided by 2 all divided by, open bracket, cost of goods sold of $38 million in 2019, plus selling general and administration expenses, or operating expenses, of $2.3 million in 2019, close bracket, divided by 365, which is equal to 452.85 days. As we said earlier, the unit of the interval measure is a day. This means that the company can meet average daily expenses with the current assets for almost 452.85 days. The higher the interval measure ratio, the better.